Howdy and welcome, welcome to Business Plan Development, BUS. Howdy and welcome to BUSM 261 Small Business Management for Spring 2019. The page that we're looking right at right now is the page that you first see when you jump into Canvas for the class. The center area will change each week depending upon what we have going on. And if I have any announcements, I'll post them here as well as sending them out to you in the announcement area. Off to the side, you'll see a variety of things that you can you know, the assignments, but they won't actually show up until the very last week that they're due. And the way I have this course set up, that would definitely cause you headaches. So what I'm trying to do is set up the course in a way that mimics a business environment. So you always have things that you need to get done and it's up to you to determine when they get done as long as they're done by the deadline. So I want you to click on modules and use that this way to navigate through the assignments. We'll go through the general course information first and then we'll go into what was going on in our first module. First item that you'll see is a how-to, and these are the how to do things in Canvas. So if you're new to Canvas or you're not familiar with something, you can check here first. Then we have the syllabus, and I'm not going to read it to you. You can look through, but you can see the outcomes, what we're going to be studying. This is your textbook, lots of places to be able to purchase it. I encourage you to explore for the best price. Uh, these are the types of assignments we're going to be doing. Um, your responsibilities, my responsibilities, the general stuff that we have to put in all of our syllabi. And I do reserve the right to change the syllabus if something cool and wonderful comes up that I want to talk to you about. As with all of the items in the course throughout the term, if you have any questions or need clarification, I encourage you to contact me. Next we have our course schedule and that way you can see at a glance what we have going on. For example, module three planning will run weeks five through seven and you can see the, all of the work that's going on. This first column talks about how long I anticipate it will take. A lot of it is sort of overestimated to make it a little easier for you. Um, and then the points that are possible. And then we have our class session topics. In general, this is what we're going to be talking about each time in class. Then, this is the first time I'm trying this. Not sure if it'll work. Um, but this is what we're going to be putting on. If, if you happen to come to class, you're not required to come to the, the campus classes at all. But if you do, you know, maybe something, hey, that looks really interesting. I want to be there in the class session for that one. That's great. If not, then we'll have discussions. We'll have um, different things related to these. So if you want to stay on track, I encourage you to, um, you know, as an example, um, by the end of week four, have chapters one through four in your textbook read and the quiz is completed, that kind of thing. It's more just as general information. More general information is instructor information. This is me, a little bit about me, including my office, etc. Um, oh, by the way, um, it lists office hours, but if I'm in my office, I answer my phone. Um, there's also an evening office hour, Wednesday evening from 7.30 to 8.30. I tried to make it after dinner and kids' homework and stuff. Um, so you're welcome to join in if you have questions or even if you just want to chat. Everything in this course is in APA format. Everything in business is in APA format. These are the general instructions, but for specifics, including in-page citations and everything, there's some instructions for you and some places to go. You can also check the library and the tutoring center um, to get support in that fashion. We will have a variety of discussions. The first posting needs to be Wednesday night of the first week of each module. Uh, this first week you'll be posting your personal introductions and that needs to be by Wednesday so that I can get those submitted to um, financial aid. Um, 
for your personal introduction, you don't need a reference, but everything else you're expected to have a reference. You're expected to do research, bring in additional documentation. Um, doing the items listed here, well, that'll get you a C. That just means you met the minimum standards. So to get a B, you're going to have to go above that, and to get an A, you're going to really have to go above that. Show me that you understand what is being discussed. If you're new to online student world, here is a handout that can help with that or a link to a web page. Uh, as we get further along, you'll be able to look at the team charter when we start into our team projects. As I mentioned before, you do have a personal introduction to take care of. Oh, some people have already got theirs posted. That is phenomenal. Yay. If you're new to Canvas, make sure that you set your preferences. That way, if I need to get hold of you, I can, um, and your fellow students can get to know you a little bit. So that's pretty cool. If you're new to the BME program, then you'll want to go into the BME program site and take a look at the short little orientation. Um, may not answer all your questions, but at least it's a start. And if there's something that you wish was there, please let me know. I'd love to be able to add to it. This term, we are asked to do the final exam in a proctored location. So um, I do ask that you um, let me know. So you'll answer the little one question quiz and just by typing in where you're going to test. And that's it for the housekeeping items. Then we just have the module one. You have through week three, but as an FYI, if you wait until the last minute, you will not be a happy person. On average, about 60% of students fail this first module simply because of poor time management, putting things off. If you divide things by th into the three weeks that they're open, and get things done a little bit each week, you will be much happier. Um, the video overview I will be posting um, after Wednesday's classroom class. I'm going to try recording the session. That way you have more than just my voice. You can hear others and interaction, and people might ask questions that you might have, and it's worth a shot. We'll see how it goes. Uh, last lecture, you'll want to watch this. Um, if you're trying to keep right on schedule, you'll want to watch this um, before Wednesday. And that way you can have that first posting by Wednesday as the assignment. And um, you'll submit notes, and you can just do those as an attachment. Uh, I do have a rubric available. So you can see the expectations that I have for you, with, and that's for any discussion or any assignment. You have some projects to complete. Um, there is an extra credit assignment. Um, then you have career research, cover letter, star. So your resume and cover letter, interviewing skills, and another discussion working in teams. So in fact, I'm going to move this up so that you know that that needs to be touched on early. In this one, this is not correct. I will be ad editing this in just a second as soon as the video is done. Um, what I want you to do is talk about, this one doesn't have any research for you to do, it's just a personal reflection. Um, have you ever worked in a team environment? What went well? What didn't go well? And what would you do the same? What would you do differently? So that's what I'm going to have in there. Um, this goes back to... Um, Originally, I was going to post all of the class sessions, and that way you guys had that interaction, but I don't want to make you have to wait for that because you want to be able to get started on this. 
So I will post that up in just a few minutes. And that is it for your week one. Um, nothing huge. Um, it's just each one takes a little bit of time and thought. Um, show me that you've got some planning that has gone into your assignments um, and reflection. If you have questions, holler. Have a great term. I look forward to working with you.